You guys most likely know who Susan Sarandon is. She was a firm supporter of Bernie Sanders and a firm opposer of Hillary Clinton. And she actually supported Jill Stein over Hillary Clinton in the general election, which is pretty admirable. Um, but here's something that she said. So she said um, Hillary Clinton is more dangerous than Trump. And she's received a lot of backlash for it. So she was talking about it to try and clear it up a little bit. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Um... I'm going to break it down and tell you guys my thought process. So here's what um, NME says. I don't know what this is. Susan Sarandon has responded to the backlash she faced after she refused to endorse Hillary Clinton in the U.S. election. The actress was a firm supporter of Clinton's rival Bernie Sanders in the Democratic candidate race, opting to not endorse Clinton when she was victorious, stating that she did not vote with her vagina. She instead supported Green Party candidate Joe Stein. Um, having previously called Clinton more dangerous than Trump, Susan Sarandon has now de defended herself in an interview with The Guardian. I have had a huge amount of backlash, she said. There's been a really strong blame for a lot of things that are obviously not my fault. There's no valid argument. It's just an easy place to put your frustrations to blame me. Sarandon continued, I mean, if you read the list of people who voted for Hillary Clinton, and then I think it's me and Viggo, I don't know who this is, Mortensen on the other side. You'd have to be delusional to actually think that Beyonce and Jay-Z and George Clooney and Julia Roberts and Meryl Streep and the list goes on were actually overpowered by the two of us. So, um, here's what's interesting, okay, because this is a common argument. Um, here's the problem, okay. Is Trump, or sorry, is Clinton more dangerous than Trump? It's possible, so it'd be like one of those half-true markers on the PolitiFact thing. So here's my thing. Would Clinton defund the EPA? And would she try to stifle the EPA? Would she put an immigration ban? Um, I don't... There's no way she would, right? Um, nothing even vastly similar to what Trump did. But what my problem is with that is that the reason that this has failed in the court system is because of Trump's stupid rhetoric towards the courts and saying these justices are, these judges and justices are just idiots and defaming them and trying to degrade them clearly isn't going to help him. So what I'm saying is, is that, um, you know, Trump is really bad right now. He's being like, his approval is so low because people lash out at what he does. But here's the thing you don't think about. Barack Obama did a lot of similar things during his presidency. He was pushing the TPP so quickly, he waited last minute to stop the DAPL. He didn't prosecute any Wall Street bankers. He continued the Iraq War. He dropped more bombs than George Bush. Nobody criticized his drone strikes. His drone strikes had killed many civilians, which in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure an expert would most likely agree, that that is counterintuitive to a plan to stop terrorism. Because if you kill someone's family member, they are more obliged to say, you're the enemy, and I'm going to come after you, because who killed their family member? They did. But here's my point. Hillary Clinton would have, she almost literally put a Wall Street executive as her vice president. She would have filled her cabinet with Goldman Sachs, Wall Street bankers, every powerful person you could think of, it would have easily exceeded Trump's, um, uh, the money net worth of the whole cabinet. It would have easily been the most richest ever, and people, and Clinton corporatists would probably praise it. Um, but here's the point. Nobody would be criticizing her for that. So while corporate Democrats criticize Trump for that, those same corporate Democrats would not criticize Hillary Clinton for that. That's my problem. Um, another problem. Things like pushing the TPP, which in effect destroys the climate by giving corporations the power to not be tested by anybody, gives corporations the power to sue governments over failed um, ability to reach profit margins. All of these different things, right? She wouldn't be criticized for any of it. She would have let DAPL go because one of the biggest investors in that was Wells Fargo and these other banks that is literally in her pocket. Obamacare would not go towards a single-payer system, although it most likely wouldn't be repealed. 
because the Republicans hate her so much, the premiums would probably skyrocket because they would deny the Medicare expansion. And because of it, access to health care remains the same as it was before Obamacare and is way more expensive. So the problem is, is that I'm in the middle of this because, first of all, I don't think that Hillary Clinton is as bad by just literally straight out being an overt racist. Do I think that she's super clean of that? No. She did call black people su um the super predators, and clearly she has an inherent bias, but would she have done that? No. However, the reason we have Trump in such a bad light is because we hate him. Would we have Hillary Clinton in the same light for doing the same exact shit? Of course not. So that's my problem. So I'm in the middle on this co comment from Susan Sarandon.